What's cracking, people? It's your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, representing high-level technicians operating globally and beyond. So listen, today I wanted to take a look at the uh, true Queen Bee uh, within the Insecure series. But first, <clears throat> I wanted to highlight two things. So the first thing was that uh, I'm going to be using the uh, 3D image scoring for a description and breakdown of Tiffany Dubois' female group hierarchies and actually the two uh, that are under her management within the, the series Insecure. Uh, second, I wanted to show a contrast and I'm going to use the uh, episode six uh, from season four entitled Loki Done to do that. Now, <clears throat> in that particular episode, we see that the main character for the entire series, Issa, is as the uh, master teacher BGS Idmore um, accurately put it in his review of this particular episode, she's on her hero's journey. And so she's, you know, uh, completing various tasks and uh, just searching for uh, meaning and for depth uh, in sort of her place. And along that journey, she comes across this group of women who are out for uh, a bachelorette. Uh, weekend. They're actually from the East Coast visiting LA. And this particular Fae or female group hierarchy is led by uh, the character played by uh, Caleb Pratt. And what's interesting is that I would classify that particular female group hierarchy as an 87 uh, octane <laughs> female group hierarchy. Uh, but before I do that, before I go in with the, the classification, I want you to listen to this quick soundbite from the episode. Really telling right here. Well, I'm not going to finish this whole bottle. So if y'all want any of this Pinot, let me know. Hey, oh, yeah. Yes, oh, please. Right. This is my last weekend as a single bitch, so we will definitely take you up on that. Congratulations. Thank you. I go first. So this is actually literally textbook behavior for uh, groups, um, Queen Bee and Top Mistress. Kyla Pratt and her Top Mistress were literally sitting next to each other the whole time. They were uh, to themselves the whole time while the third person, who I would classify as the Sub Mistress, who interestingly enough became the bottom mistress when Issa entered the space and Issa became uh, the sub mistress who was uh, catering to the needs of the entire group. So had that, um, had she gone along with them to other venues, she would have been the external protector. She would have taken on the role of, uh, you know, the buffer between the outside uh, world and uh, the group itself. So uh, the other part was that, we saw immediately that the Queen Bee, uh, in this case, Kyla Pratt, made sure that she was the first to eat textbook, just like I described in the seduction scriptures, Queen Bee eats first, including taking the men that she wants. We see that in this scene, um, the uh, initial submistress mentioned that Kyla Pratt had had sex with her brother. <laughs> uh, and basically, the top mistress had uh, you know presented her position after you know Issa started pouring the wine and Kyla Pratt said me first and on cue the top mistress literally said then me making sure that her position was uh, well pronounced so why do I classify this group as uh, an 87 octane group well first of all there's only three of them in the group and no shade to 87s listen I, lo I love all y'all okay however this is a classic case of the type of queen bee who uh, does not have enough of a social bandwidth in order to <clears throat> uh, attract a larger group um, hierarchy under her management uh, obviously if she's willing to sleep with uh, the brother of uh, a group member uh, who the group member obviously did not uh, approve of but she had to do it because it was the group's queen. That's one thing. But also, the group of 87s, uh, they're part of the um, skilled labor force. And so they most likely met at the office or the, um, the plant where they all work together. And so had there been more women that 
you know, she wanted to bring along, they one probably could not have afforded the travel to LA for the party, and two probably would not have been able to gotten the time off of work approved. Uh, whereas higher octane uh, women in their various careers, if they were working at all, I mean, because let's be honest, the, the higher octane, uh, the woman, the more likely she is to be married already. So a married group of friends uh, are, are housewives, basically. So they're not requesting time off from work. They just plan the party, which brings me to the third reason why I identify this particular group as 87s. Look at the contrast between uh, Tiffany Dubois' baby shower. Uh, she had an entire planning committee. This is what this group had. They had this. A checklist that basically amounted to uh, a struggle uh, treasure hunt and uh, when we con contrast that to the 92s or even the, eight, uh, the 89 octane bachelorette party there of course would have been more planning there would have been more execution but I mean look okay so look at the clothing none of them were matching none, there was no coordination the uh, 92 octanes and the 89 octanes would have definitely had like matching t-shirts or something like that or at least uh, matching colors or whatever and this is where we enter my world you see when we would observe a crowd we would observe the, the room and the space we would look specifically for the ones obviously the best rep parties that had a larger group because they had more uh, potential for somebody brought the ones somebody brought you know whatever but also you could really stretch out the dances and you could upsell vip private uh dances you know uh bottle service all types of things when you identify a 92 octane group as opposed to an 87 uh octane group who would nurse one drink for the entire night and then try to recruit a dancer, most likely a rookie dancer, to come back to their hotel for a quote-unquote after party. I mean, look at look at the scene right here with these 87s. They didn't even um, have the, the wherewithal to bring wine to a paint and sip. So, of course, if, you know, if they were doing a bachelorette party at a club, they would not, uh, you know, have what it takes to make it worth the while uh, of any season uh, dancer while they were there. So. Does that mean that ratchet things did not happen amongst 87s, 89s, or even 92s who negotiated something, you know, a private party or whatever back at the hotel? Of course it happens. Happens all the time. Does your favorite cousin have the stories? Of course I do, but that will not happen over here on the YouTube side. We'll save that for the Patreon side, so go ahead and head over to there to get the good stuff. Shifting gears and moving on to the main event, the main attraction of this particular podcast, the two female group hierarchies under the management of none other than Tiffany Dubois, played by actress Amanda Seals. Now, I won't get into any, you know, uh, personal beliefs or politics or anything um, of Amanda Seals, but I will say this, in person she is hilarious, she's very sharp, very witty, uh, on the spot, funny, and that translates over into her character, Tiffany Dubois, uh, in the series Insecure. Now, the graphic that I'm showing right now is the entire sort of uh, graphic that covers both female group hierarchies and Tiffany Dubois breakdown with the score now her breakdown is as follows she is a, an octane grade of a natural 92 her rank for the two uh, female group hierarchies is of course Queen B she has an SMB of 7 again that's subjective uh, she manages two female group hierarchies the first one is the crazy crew which was mentioned in name in the episode uh featuring her baby shower and the second one i gave the name because it, it just it writes itself the messy mistresses she is married of course to derek dubois now the marriage part is a very important aspect of the queen bee especially queen bee who manages two female group hierarchies one of the most important um aspects of uh, a queen bee's position is her social bandwidth, her social IQ, and her emotional IQ. 
so that it expresses itself and the amounts and the types and quality of relationships that she's able to manage. The ultimate relationship between two people obviously being a committed relationship or marriage. That part will come up again uh, further in the breakdown, but first I want to go over the scores of the crazy crew. So first we've got the top mistress named Blair. Now Blair has a 3D image score of 92. T for top mistress and an SMB 8. So it's a 92 T8. Now, in case you're wondering, oh, well, Tiffany has an SMB of 7. Um, why does, uh, you know, Blair have an SMB of 8? Fellas, well, keep in mind, the ranking of Queen B is not necessarily tied to a woman's SMB. Her beauty does not necessarily determine her ranking unless she's a 100 octane, but that does not. Um, guarantee her spot amongst a female group hierarchy. Remember, it's the woman with the highest social IQ, the most social currency and emotional IQ uh, who takes the spot as Queen B. Moving on, we've got the bottom mistress who is Condola with a 3D image score of 92B for bottom mistress dash 6.5, okay, for the SMB. Lastly, we've got the submistress Ashley, who's actually Tiffany's younger sister, with a 3D image score of 92S for submistress dash 7.5. Moving over to the messy mistresses, okay? So, first we have Molly. Now, Molly is an interesting case study. She is the top mistress of the messy mistresses under Tiffany Dubois. She has no choice but to bow down to the true queen. And this is because Molly lacks the social IQ that is high enough to manage, successfully navigate relationships, which require um, a level of social awareness, social IQ, and emotional IQ. We see it with the example of her parents, her family. We see it with uh, the example of her love interests throughout the seasons. We definitely see it um, in her interactions with Issa. And speaking of Issa, it's in, it, there's an interesting example of where Molly tried to assert herself as a would-be queen bee in a scenario in which she tried to determine the trajectory of Issa's relationship with Nathan uh, in a previous season when she dismissed him uh, well, he was trying to make amends with flowers in front of uh, Issa's um, place. But that ultimately blew up in Molly's uh, face and led to the beginning of the decline of she and Issa's relationship. Contrast that with how Tiffany follows up on a conversation that she and Condola had had about Lawrence. So you've got two similar situations, uh, you know, two two women who are higher up in the uh, the pecking order with their friends within the group uh, discussing the outcomes or desired outcomes of their relationships or would be relationships with uh, of men handled in two different ways. There's no way a true queen bee would confront alone a man uh, of, you know, a woman who belongs to her female group hierarchy. She will manage that guy through her friend, except Molly chose to go directly to the guy, like man to man, so to speak, which is a whole other topic of uh, discussion for another day. But it shows her lack of social IQ uh, when managing uh, you know, a relationship uh, for someone who is supposed to be under her uh, sort of care and keep in the case of Issa. And so Molly has a 3D image score of 92T-6. So she is a 92 climber, top mistress with an SMB of 6. Once again, it's subjective. Next up, we have Issa, who is the bottom mistress uh, under the messy mistresses female group hierarchy. Her score is 89B-5.5. The interesting thing about Issa is that she is climbing. She has the opportunity to perhaps move higher um, in, in terms of female group hierarchy ranking. We see that Molly is on her way out 
uh, you know, the rest of the season has yet to uh, tell the tale. But also, she is being groomed by Tiffany's um, bottom mistress from the crazy crew, Condola. Um, also, if she plays it right and she's positioned properly, which is the point of being in a female group hierarchy, uh, it's basically access. That is your that is a, a woman's opportunity to um, elevate socially outside of you know marrying up, so to speak, because the women within the female group hierarchy introduce the other women to opportunities, and um, with those opportunities men of you know a higher octane grade and so Issa has the opportunity to uh, elevate within that realm as well but time will tell lastly we have Kelly Kelly is uh, has a 3d image score of 87 s for submistress dash na now I put it in a anytime uh, a woman falls below in my opinion my subjective opinion gentlemen Comment down below what you believe uh, Kelly's SMB is, but anything below a five, I don't uh, add to the score. I just put in a, um, it's su subjective, like I said, and from my perspective, uh, I would not mark an SMB um, rating for uh, a woman under a five. So guys, let me uh, know what you think uh, in terms of the scoring and the rating and what the rankings within the female group hierarchies of um, the Insecure series may more accurately look like in your perspective. As always, this is your man, Cousin T, a.k.a. the Alpha Wingman, saying stay sharp and mission focused.